For the first time in nearly a decade, two astronauts will blast into orbit from American soil. Today, the crew spoke about their historic mission. Yeah, the launch is set for next Wednesday, and we've just learned that President Trump plans to attend the launch. CBS's Skylar Henry has more now. Astronauts Bob Behnken and Doug Hurley are now just days away from a turning point in America's space program. After a successful readiness review, NASA says Wednesday's launch is on. As each system and subsystem was considered, um, at the end we got to a go. So, um, so we, are, we are now preparing for a launch. The two astronauts spoke from crew quarters about their mission to the International Space Station. The lift off on Elon Musk's SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket, the first time a private company is sending astronauts into orbit, and the first time in nine years humans are launching from U.S. soil. We've longed to be a part of a, a test mission, a test space flight, and Doug and I are lucky enough to get that opportunity going forward. So I would say it's something we maybe dreamed about when we were new ASCANs, flying something other than the space shuttle. Bankin and Hurley have been to the space station before. Hurley piloted Atlantis to the ISS in 2011, the final flight of the shuttle program. The longtime friends will ride to the Kennedy Space Center launch pad in a white Tesla and say they're grateful to be on a mission together. I'm just thankful that uh, doing something like this, I I'm doing it with, uh, with uh, Doug Hurley because he's, he's going to be prepared for whatever comes our way and he's going to be prepared, prepared quickly. So I, I, I couldn't ask for more. Yeah, as far, as far as Bob, there's no stone unturned. There's no uh, no way that he, he doesn't have every potential eventuality already thought about, uh, you know, five times ahead of almost anybody else. NASA is inviting the public to celebrate the milestone, but with the coronavirus pandemic, launch parties will be virtual. Skyler Henry, CBS News, Washington. Now, since 2011, NASA has relied on Russian rockets to bring astronauts to the space station. If the weather is not right for Wednesday's launch, the agency will postpone it until the weekend.